on. Good morning. Morning. Monday again, which means Ellie's got part just part of Just part of yeah. Okay. So it was about 40 minutes to the tape and then it might cut off. So Yeah, well, I'm just... trying to keep it within 40 minutes yeah. so it doesn't give us a double video. Catch you all in a bit. Brilliant. Okay, so I hope you're all fit and well this morning. If you've got any problems or you start to feel like heading dizzy, sick throughout, just please stop. Otherwise, we're going to get started. Okay, so the first thing we do, your feet are together, you're going to bring them to 10 to 2 for me. From 10 to 2, I need you to lift your heels, just round them out and lower them down nice and soft. From there, moving up the body, the knees are soft, facing forwards, and we're going to put your hands up to your hips. So now your belly button is facing forwards, I want you to keep your shoulders fixed in place and just tip the belly button towards the ceiling. Perfect, and then from there, we're going to take the belly button down towards the floor, again, the shoulders stay fixed, we turn it back. And we tuck and we tilt. Perfect. One more time. Tuck, halfway tilt back, hold it here. Just relax the arms down, shoulders into the ears, back and level them down. And that chin's nice and long and horizontal with the floor. So from there, you're going to take a deep breath in through your nose. Letting these lungs separate, these ribs, and then you're going to breathe out and let everything just gently draw back together. And again, breathing in nice and deep. Letting those ribs just separate and then slowly, slowly just breathing out, bringing everything back together. On the next out breath, I want you to engage those abs for me. So you breathe in and then breathing out, you're going to pull that belly button all the way back to the spine, stand nice and tall and those abs are nice and flat. Okay, you're going to hold it here, it's quite comfortable. Just a few more breaths and again, you should be able to feel how tight the abs are the whole time, but you can breathe quite easily. So from there, we're going to relax it. And then one more time, breathing in. Breathing out, the belly button pulls back to the spine and you're going to lift that pelvic floor as well. So just imagine a lift that starts above your trouser, uh, sorry, your pubic bone. You're going to pull it so it sits between your belly button and the top of your trousers. And we're going to hold here. Now we're going to keep this engagement. It's quite comfortable, but we're just going to hold it throughout the workout now. So from there, let's bring it into your warm up. We're going to lower that chin to the chest. And breathe in to bring it back to centre. Breathing out to lower. And in. Good, let's go two more. And you've got your last one now. From now, all I want you to do is let one ear fall to the shoulder. Lift it back to centre and then drop down the other way. Good, and we're just warming up the muscles in the neck. I'm going to go for one more each way, and then we're going to bring it into a little bit of a head roll. Last one to the opposite side. Perfect. Head to centre, chin drops, and we're just going to roll. Excellent. Just working through the vertebrae in your neck. And we're going to bring it back to centre, and just lift that chin. From there, let's hide your neck. So you're going to draw those shoulders all the way up, hide the neck, and then let's push it down. Now we're going to draw your shoulders all the way up, and then just bringing it all the way down. Two more times, you're going to lift, really, really squeeze those shoulders to those ears, hide that neck, and now this time pushing those fingers down past those knees. One more time, we're going to lift, and then we push your fingers down past those knees. Perfect, and I'm just holding here. I'm going to bring it into four circles forward. So you draw up, push forwards and down. Two. One more time. Perfect. We pause it here and then take it back for four. Three. One more time. Excellent. We hold here. Your chin tucks all the way into your chest and then you separate one vertebrae at a time as that head comes down towards those toes. Keeping your chin pressed into that chest the whole time, bring it down. Once those knees need to bend, please stop, breathe in, and then as you breathe out, we slowly, slowly curl back to standing. Good. And again, let's go for three more here. So your chin tucks. We're just warming up through the spine as you lower your head towards your toes. And then slowly curling all the way back to standing. Your head comes up last. Two more times. That chin tucks and we roll. And at the bottom, I'm bringing out to stack nice and tall. We've got that last one here. 
So your chin tucks. We roll. Perfect. All the way down. And then breathing in at the bottom, breathing out to step one vertebra on top of the other. Perfect. And from there, just going to pull those hands to the sides. And then you're going to slide it down. Pulling back to centre. We slide down the other way. Perfect. And we're just going to keep going here. Let's go for three more each way. Staying careful not to tip forwards or back with those shoulders. Your last one either side. Perfect. And then just holding it central, you're going to bring those hands to a prayer position. Try to lift the thumbs to the chin. And then you're going to keep your hips forward as you breathe out and turn to the side. You breathe in to bring it back to centre. And I'll just turn to the side and again, hips forward, out to the side. Breathing in. Breathing out. In, out, good, in. Let's go for one more each way. Pull, back to centre, relax those arms down. Excellent. So from here, all we're going to do is go for some controlled legs. So we're going to go to the front, to the back, and then we're going to take your leg to the side. And it's all going to be on the same leg. Now level one for this move, I'm just going to stand forward a little bit. Most feet are at hip width distance, choosing your leg, you're going to either slide here, the foot stays flat, pull it back to centre, and then take it back the other way, and your heel just lifts. Pull it back to centre, we pause, then we slide, pull, and change legs. So again, slide, flat foot, slide. To the back, your heel lifts, we pull. Flat foot to the side, and pull. Now, if that's too easy, Bring it up a level. If that's perfect for you, then just stay with that level for now. So next level, those feet are hip-width distance. You're going to slide here and here. And then hold centre and to the side we pull. And setting in the middle, we slide, pull, centre, side. Excellent. Now you can make that leg bigger. So level three, you can bring the leg up nice and high. Kick it back nice and high. Pulling it through to centre and to the side. Reset, change legs. High. Back. Pull. Side. So choosing your level, let's just go for two more. So it'll be two on each leg, two on each leg, four in total. So we're going to push. Pull. Now at any time, you can stop this leg. Change sides. Pull. Good. To the side. Last one each leg. Push. Pull. Centre. Excellent. Last time. Push. Pull. Centre. Side. And down. Okay. Just some knee bends now. You can either... Bend the knee here, lift the heel onto the toes, and then place that leg down, and we switch. So you're bringing a little bit of work into those knees, and you're just swaying the arms for a little bit of balance. Might be too easy. So if that's too easy, then I want you to concentrate on just lift and lower. Change legs. Lift and lower. Four. Three. Three, so working in your level. Two, my hips clunking for fun. One more time. Excellent. And we bring it down now. Okay, so knees are warm, we've just got those ankles to work, and then from there we're going to start your workout. So for your ankles, all I want you to do, lift the heel of one foot. This is level one, so if you just watch first and then I'll show you. Level one, toes stay down, heels lifted, four circles, and then four circles back. Level two, just a slight hover, and again, four circles, four circles. Level three, we're gonna lift that knee in line with the hip, and we go for four circles, and then four the other way. So choosing the level that feels easiest for you, we're gonna start your circles. Ready? Leg lifts, we go four. Three, two, 
and pause, bring it back for four, three, two, and one. Let's bring it down and change legs. So four, three, two, pause, and four, three, two, one. Let's bring it down. Okay, so that's your warm-up done. If you do have any light weights, please don't go heavier than a one kg because it's, it, you're gonna feel it. Um, no heavier than one kg. If not, these moves can be done without weights and it's just as effective. I'm just gonna put some music on. I'm just going to turn around and I'm just going to show you this move from the back. So all we do, feet are at hip distance apart, and then we're going to bring those fingertips as thumbs together first of all. So we're going to tap the thumbs and release, and tap those thumbs and release. Now let's go for eight here. So thumbs tap, release, tap, go.
if I can you scream it down the level, please do. Just don't stop. Okay, last one. That last time. Perfect. We're pulling back through to centre. Palms flatten. Lower them down. Excellent. Let's just keep those shoulders and knees a little bit of a roll. Okay. So from that, this time we're going to lift one last time. Palms to the ceiling. Sorry, fingers to the ceiling. Palms to the front. We open those arms wide. We press away. Elbows up wide over the shoulders. And we press. And again, you can do this with a single arm if you need to. If you're going for that single arm, we've got three more on each side. Otherwise, we've got six full presses. Squeeze. your plank. So remember your plank levels. When you come down, we come up to plank on your knees and your elbows. Plank two, tuck the toe, lift the knees, plank three, all the way up to the full plank. Okay, so we're going into that roll down. Starting at the back of your mat. If you come out of your feet at hip, feet at hip width distance, we're just going to attempt two toes, heel and down. From there, drop your chin all the way to the chest, shoulders are back. And separate one vertebrae at a time as you roll slowly, slowly down towards those toes. When those knees need to bend, please allow it. And then once you're ready and you can control those hips, we walk it forwards. Okay, from here, I'm going to hold your plank position for 10. Controlling the legs, both legs curl towards the ceiling. 
And I will double my breath. And down. And relax. So choosing your position, choosing your level, we're going to go for another eight. Let's finish up here. So we curl. We lift. Coming down and extend. Sorry if you're doing single leg, it's four more on each leg. So we curl. Lift. Down. And extend. Six more or three each leg, single leg. Lift. Lower. Extend. Shoulder, nice straight line. And 
So you can hold on to a wall just for a little bit of balance here. But the whole point is we're going to bring some nice work deep into those ab muscles. So I need you to really concentrate on keeping them tight. I'm going to keep those quads nice and tight as well. If you're doing this on your bum, all you're going to do is just slide yourself down and pull yourself all the way back up. On our knees, it's exactly the same. Okay that belly button in nice and tight, getting your breath ready, that pelvic floor is lifted, I need you to lean it back, so keeping the shoulders and the hips in a nice straight line, we lean it back as far as you can control, and then just slowly, slowly lift, good, and again, so you don't have to come as far down if you don't want, you might feel the stretch here, and pull, so level one's just a small lean, and again, you can hold on to the wall just for a little bit of balance. And a pull. Level two, we take you back a little bit further. And pull. Breathe in at the bottom. Breathe out, lift. You can go even further back if you can control. Good. Okay, let's just go for four more now. Don't want the challenge, ignore it, just don't do it. We've got one more to go. You have to really use that breath. Okay, breathing in. So this is your last one. Now hold it. You can either hold the position you're in, or if you can, bring those hands down to those ankles. And I feel a really nice stretch of the front of those thighs. Let's go for three, two, take a deep breath in, breathe out. And we're done there. Okay. So from the we lay down onto your side. All we need to do from here, one hand's just going to curl underneath your head. The shoulder is going to line up with the back of the mat, as is the heels of the feet as well. From there, your hand pulls down and onto your leg. And again, if you're doing this with a weight in your hand, you're going to feel this quite a little bit more. So all I want you to do, I want you to turn the palm to face the ceiling. You're then going to lift the arm up and over the head. Let that arm rest onto your ear and then just gently down. Excellent. Let's go four more now. Hold your hand at the top, turn the palm, and bring the palm to the thigh. Excellent. Arm opens. 
palm to the back. Two more times. The arm opens. Palm to the back. Last one now. The arm stays over your head. Can I ask you to draw a circle with your hand? Palm comes flat over. We look at your hands as you open to the open door and rotate it around. Now let's take it back through the other way. The hand goes over the head. We look at the fingers the whole time, keeping those hips facing forwards. Excellent. One more time each way. The arm swoops down past the hip. Excellent. And the last way here. Circle. So, I want you to extend one leg for me. Bringing those fingers into spider fingers, all I want you to do, you're going to bring the opposite arm out, oh no, sorry, the opposite arm out, rest the head, and then I just want you to lift and crunch here, and bring it down. So you're going to lift and crunch. If you're feeling stronger, we're going to lift the leg and the head, and meet in the middle. If you're feeling stronger than that, both legs extend, and we lift a knee here. Let's go for five more. Four, it really hurts your hip. Three, just pressing down, making sure you're balanced. Two, one last time. And we lower down. From now, just change. Rest down. We turn that palm to the ceiling and from there we open the arm up and we close it down. Palm to the ceiling. Breathing out, breathing in. One more time here. You hold that hand over your head. You turn your palm, palm to the thigh. Press those hips, one 
get rid of your arm and we lift all the way up. Excellent. And slowly, slowly let's bring it down. Level 4, 
Well, thanks, Mama.